In this lecture, we're going to talk about beliefs and their functions. So what are beliefs? Now, as we said before, we experience our life energy, which is flowing through us, through different emotional filters, which defines our experience of reality. Now, what chooses the emotional filter through which we experience our reality is our belief systems about the situation. Now, we have belief systems, so we know how to experience reality. This is their job. The job of the belief is to give you a more solidified sense of reality. Otherwise, you wouldn't know how to feel about things. So it takes your belief about something and it makes it real and more real and more real. And this can be in a positive way or it can be in a negative way. And you basically have belief systems about most things in your life so you know how to feel about them. Now, in a sense, consciously and subconsciously, we choose these beliefs. And it's important that we acknowledge that we choose them because it allows us to have a sense of responsibility. It allows us to take self-responsibility for our choices. So we go inward and we examine what those beliefs are. But back to the nature of beliefs, it is their inherent function to give you an experience, a solid experience of physical reality. Now, what are beliefs exactly? The way I define a belief is it is a thought, opinion, label on things, people, circumstances, which we experience as truth. The key word being experienced as truth, because as we said before, everything is inherently neutral. Life is meaningless except for the meaning that you give it. You, and you give the meaning through your belief systems. So we have a belief about a person or a situation and we define it as good or bad. And therefore we experience this situation as good or bad. I know it sounds very simple, but metaphysically, structurally, you can have an experience of anything. And this makes all beliefs valid, all perspectives valid. Whether they're true or not, everything can be experienced as true. And this could be good if it's positive and it could be not so good if it's negative. But all beliefs are valid and all beliefs can be experienced as truth. And as we said before, it's their job to perpetuate themselves into your reality. And a physical reality functions like a mirror of your beliefs to you. This is why you can have an experience of being paranoid, for example, if the government is after you or you fear you're getting fired from your job or someone is out to get you. You can have a real experience of that fear, even though on the outside, nothing is really happening. So physical reality functions as a mirror for our belief systems. And what we tend to do is we look at our experience. We look at the circumstance, which is already a projection of our belief systems. And then we react to it further with fear or whatever emotion we're experiencing it. And because we are reacting to the circumstance, this strengthens this energy within us. It strengthens the belief system. This is how the beliefs grow. They grow through your reaction to them in physical reality. And some people get caught in this loop. But remember, life is inherently neutral. You can stop these experiences when you explore the beliefs because the belief always comes first and the experience always comes second.